Tom Skerritt is a film and TV actor who commands a good deal of respect, both on the screen and off. Today, at age 88, he's still working. In fact, he recently appeared in a rare lead role in a film called East of the Mountains, released in 2021. Tom's role in the film came to him by way of his work with PTSD-stricken veterans. Tom is a veteran himself. Though he doesn't have any traumatic memories from his time in service, he's no stranger to PTSD thanks to some traumatic episodes in his personal life. Thanks to Rocket Money for sponsoring today's video. More about them later. Join Facts First, as Tom Skerritt says his personal trauma is actually a gift. Tom Skerritt is more sensitive than he lets on. Though Tom Skerritt doesn't have many classic lead roles to his name, the actor has been a supporting player in numerous classic films and continues honing his craft at age 88. Some of the many classics he's been involved in include Robert Altman's M.A.S.H., Ridley Scott's Alien, and Tony Scott's Top Gun. Tom Skerritt certainly knows a thing or two about artistic sensitivity, which is part of what led the actor taking on his role in East of the Mountains. It started when the actor was teaching creative writing classes in Seattle. During that time, Tom saw an article in a newspaper talking about suicide statistics amongst veterans. It said that veterans typically have higher suicide rates as a result of PTSD. Tom served in the military for four years earlier in his life, but he also experienced PTSD. Though he didn't receive trauma from his time serving his country, he has had a few traumatic incidents over the years. Tom's sensitivity towards veterans and people suffering from PTSD in general gave him the idea to start teaching a creative writing class designed specifically for veterans suffering from PTSD. Tom believed that giving veterans an outlet to hone their traumatic memories into art would help them overcome the trauma of their time in service. Tom's reasons for believing this were personal, as the actor has used his artistic outlets over the years to deal with his own personal trauma. The classes aimed towards veterans became a big success. His previous classes had already attracted a few notable authors as guest teachers, and the veteran classes attracted some even more notable guests. One was David Gutterson, the writer of the novel that East of the Mountains is based on. How Tom Got His Role in East of the Mountains David Gutterson used his position as guest teacher to proposition Tom Skerritt to be the lead in a film adaptation of East of the Mountains. Tom agreed, as the actor isn't offered the lead role in films every day. Tom's role allowed him to get more in touch with his emotions than ever, and it proved a healing experience for the aging actor. In the film, Tom plays a retired doctor contemplating suicide as a result of ennui. He then goes on a hunting trip with his dog to alleviate his existential woes and ends up having some interesting experiences with the people he runs into. According to Skerritt, he can relate to the feeling of someone wanting to take his or her own life. The majority of his personal trauma seems to stem from his first marriage. In 1957, he married a woman named Charlotte Shanks. The two had three children together. Many years later, Charlotte developed schizophrenia. Tom was closely involved with his wife's treatment and did his best to stay in the marriage for the sake of his kids. However, he and Charlotte divorced in 1972. The entire episode deeply affected Tom and gave him PTSD. He went into a brief period of isolation, though he knew he was going to have to continue pushing himself and putting himself out there if he wanted to achieve the star status he'd been working for. With inflation and the increasing cost of living, it's difficult to stay on budget to save for retirement. Having some extra guidance with budgets can help, and that's where Rocket Money comes in. Rocket Money is an all-in-one finance platform that helps you save more and spend less. The personal finance manager allows you to manage subscriptions, lower bills, monitor your credit score, and build your savings all in one place. Rocket Money can see if you have recurring charges for subscriptions you forgot about. From there, they cancel unwanted subscriptions for you with just a tap. You never have to get on the phone or try to hunt down the cancel button. Inside the platform, you can set budgets and monitor your spending for those categories. If you go over budget, you'll get friendly notifications that help you stay on track. You can also monitor your credit score. With complete access to your credit reports and history, Rocket Money alerts you of important changes that impact your score and offers you insights on ways to improve it. Rocket Money is trusted by 3.4 million members and counting. To try it out for free today and unlock more features with premium, head to rocketmoney.com slash faxverse or click the link in the video description. Tom Skerritt went into a period of isolation that many feared he'd never come out of. In the end, it was director Robert Altman who helped him overcome his trauma. 
In the ensuing years, Tom became a bigger star than ever and also helped others suffering from the same problems. Before we tell you more, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Tom wasn't always a sensitive artist. According to Tom Skerritt, channeling his artistic talents helped him overcome the trauma he was afflicted with during his first marriage. Robert Altman, who directed him in the 70s masterpiece MASH, is credited with inspiring the star a great deal. As a young child, Tom didn't have much of an affinity for the arts. He's recalled looking at the classic sculpture The Thinker during a school trip and wondering why the naked man was sitting on a toilet without a newspaper to keep him entertained. However, the young man opened up to the power of art as time went on. Other early memories that proved influential for Tom include the times his older brother would play then-modern jazz and blues albums for him. Tom's brother enjoyed albums by artists like Billie Holiday and John Coltrane. Though Tom was too young to register the names of these artists, he grew to greatly enjoy the style of music. The Night Tom Met Orson Welles As a young man attending UCLA, Tom Skerritt first viewed Orson Welles as Citizen Kane. The film really stood out to the actor, who claims it was one of the first experiences that showed him the power of film. Citizen Kane featured Orson Welles in the lead roles, both on screen and behind the scenes, as the auteur director played the film's lead. Tom, too, has flirted with the notion of expanding his talents behind the scenes, having directed some episodes of the hit 1990s television series Picket Fences. Orson Welles' work proved a big influence on Tom early on, and the actor ended up getting to meet the auteur upon his entrance into the Hollywood sphere. However, it seems meeting Orson was a bit of a disappointment, as the legendary filmmaker was deep in the bottle at the time. It happened one night when Tom was dining with his agent. Tom's agent always took him to fine establishments, as it gave the actor the opportunity to brush shoulders with some of the most popular stars of the day. According to Tom, he was just turning down the advances of a notable Golden Age starlet when he noticed Orson Welles patronizing the establishment's bar. In an effort to get away from the woman, Tom decided to introduce himself to Orson. Tom claims seeing Orson in the dire straits he was in is a big part of what has kept the actor from having issues with substance abuse himself. Tom could have turned to the bottle during his period of isolation after dealing with his first wife's schizophrenia. However, he decided to overcome his trauma in a healthy way and became a better man for it. Tom's Relationship with the Late Robert Altman one of Tom's most famous films is M.A.S.H., which features the actor amongst an ensemble cast under the direction of Robert Altman. Tom and Altman already had a close relationship before the filming of the movie, as Altman was actually Tom's mentor in the entertainment industry for a period of time. Robert's strong will and positive attitude rubbed off on Tom and gave him plenty of ammo in his fight against depression. Another thing Tom learned from Altman was how to be true to himself. According to Tom, there was a period before MASH's release where studio execs didn't have much confidence in the film. They almost insisted Robert Altman butchering his final product, though Robert ended up insisting the film stay the way he had intended. His insistence paid off, as the film was an unprecedented success. It was also influential. Robert was a true visionary who knew his stuff and Tom could see it. They met in the 60s when the two were neighbors. This was an important connection for Tom, as his role in MASH paved the way for a long and successful career. Today, Tom is perhaps best remembered for his role in Top Gun. Top Gun recently got a long-awaited sequel, and Tom sadly wasn't asked back to reprise his role from the original film. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite memory of Tom Skerritt? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.